Growing up in Poughkeepsie, which is on the on the border of uh, the Hudson River and Connecticut, um, you know, we used to, as families, take vacations over to the Connecticut shore on Long Island Sound. And I can remember the one time we were there and my father was uh, for days on end trying to catch something off the end of the dock that we were, we were staying and finally hooked a, a you know, medium size uh, striped bass. Those days, you know, you didn't have to worry about all the, you know, bad things that fish have and all, anything about that. So it was awesome. He brought it inside, cleaned it up, baked it off, and I can still remember the f taste of that fish. I don't know what he put on it. I have no idea. I was probably eight, maybe seven, eight. Um, but it was one of those things where you always have that first epiphany with food, and I think that's what it was. Same town, Poughkeepsie. I scored a job with a friend of the family and through my uncle at a little shopping mall in Poughkeepsie doing bagels. So I was a bagel maker. So we got uh, into the business that way, but I can still remember when I got all my friends' jobs there. So it was sort of like the hangout for uh, the 14 and 15 year olds that, you know, parents would drop us all off, we'd work, make the old, uh, I think minimum wage back then was like 250 or 256 an hour. And then we moved up where we got uh, into the, real money because we started making the bagels so we could get paid by the bag of flour and that's how they they waged you so every bag of flour you got I think eight dollars so we were very anxious to go to work and make bagels and cut school and I think that was the start of it all I was fortunate enough to cook for uh, Volkswagen that they were trying to solicit to come to Huntsville at the time so uh, my wife and I traveled here a couple times. We were fascinated with the culture here. I think that the first dish that I really learned how to cook, and you know, when you go into a French kitchen and you work at, like I was at Le Cirque, um, you really don't get to cook for a long time. You get to clean and pick, and then you go into the garmanger, which is uh, the cold side. And I can remember that, and then I could, I got the chance to work in the hot, a little appetizer station and I think the first thing I mastered probably was the risotto and I still to this day rely on my old standby as uh, one of the best dishes I could probably do and and second a close second would be scallops I think I learned how to cook the scallops from uh, one of the sous chefs at Le Cirque Sota Kun who was just a, probably the one of the best cooking chefs I know I thought you left. No, she doesn't want to see you. Mom said I could have some shrimp with some french fries. Ah, yeah, shrimp with french fries. Ah.